What's going on everybody and welcome to the full game walkthrough series episode 74 Today we are still in Sugerland. We have to collect feathers from ravens. Let's hurry up and try and get do we have the right deck on. Oh my gosh We do not um, Before we go into the ravens battle some things to talk about. I got a little ambitious. I crafted all of the gear Well the main components. I'm still have to farm more gold on my death for the Athaman ring that I'll be getting from Vesterland. A lot of people were talking about uh, buying or farming for the Athaman ring. Actually, there's this one Athaman, one ring that I'll have to... I think I showed you guys already in Vesterland. That is better with the stats-wise. So I'll be going for that. I'll have to... I basically craft it on my death and then transfer over in the shared bank. Um, just to give you an idea, the stats on the level 56 gear is outrageous huge huge like increase in everything um before i get into that a lot of things actually i'm level 54 i did a lot of side quests i've done them all in here up to the point where i'm at which is to collect the feathers um so hopefully level 55 this ep or next ep um so to look at the gear this is the helm the poetic chieftain's helm huge difference of everything overall stats great crit damage accuracy resist health all an increase um it's unfathomable i mean it literally is a game changer there's a few minor decreases in accuracy on a few of the pieces but overall great gear the robe um also before a thing to note the helm gives a blade the robe gives a trap and the boots give a aura which is awesome 35 40 and then um you know whatever that is so the robe huge crit block crit incoming accuracy universal resist mass health max damage this is the dream robe um let me just show you what it looks like that is what it looks like right here it looks like it's amazing i have no words i am in shock and i cannot wait to equip it the hat if i didn't show it off this is beast <laughs> This thing's... <laughs> the definition of a male helm is that with this awesome robe. And the final piece is the Time of Legend boots, uh, as you can see right there. With the universal resist, the accuracy, the damage, crit block, and health. Um, I'm not going to be using the fearless boots because uh, that the stats are a little bit better for like the resist and a little extra damage. One extra accuracy, but the health and the crit block make up for it. And it gives a Time of Legend card. So... We'll be going for that. The Thaman Ring I'll be crafting, which are level 56 in Vesterland. Um, we'll be replacing the Wolf's Topaz Claw, which the, the Thame, I believe, has this, it's very similar stats. are almost exact with damage and incoming and other stuff. Um, so anyway, let's try and collect. Uh, and we got a Myth one, of course. I don't even know if I have Prisms in here. Um, I'm going to try and collect these Feathers. I believe this quest is very similar to the one in Ravenscar, where it takes Moons. Um, so after I collect all of them, I'll see you guys then that we could talk about uh, some more stuff. So I'll see you then. Alrighty, welcome back everybody. The Feather Quest here is very similar to the one in Ravenscar. Uh, now where the heck is the Hemlock at? I'm assuming it's up here. Um, another thing I wanted to talk about, Talos, the minion. Uh, I was oblivious to the fact that that was the actual thing. You had to be level 55. So we'll be, you know, doing that in time from uh, Baldir um, in Old Town. So we'll be doing that, which is in a level. So very soon. What the heck is... Oh, here it is. We might even change um, realms for the Hemlock if we have to. Maybe one's up here? Nope. But we do have to go through that place to get to Sudri. Pretty sure, yeah, Sudri's th throne. Throne. Um, well... I guess we'll change realms. Why not, huh? Uh, let's go in Wraith. Why not? Seems like a fair realm. All right, one over here. All right, let's go down here and see if we can find it. Hopefully, we don't get pulled. These guys are going really fast. Yeah, so we'll be getting Talos, level 55, hype for 56 gear. The gear is going to be insane. Oh, here's a hemlock. Massive upgrades. The biggest upgrade in gear we're ever going to have. In the walkthrough, besides Waterworks gear and then Tartarus gear in the future and all that. Um, so let's talk to Thyra and see what we have to do. 
They should serve well enough. Okay. Give me a moment. With those ingredients, I can now brew a potion that should wrap you in illusion. Just take a drink from the cauldron. While in raven form, you should be able to walk through the dragon gate without harm. Okay. The enchantment upon the gate isn't that quick-witted. If you get through once, you can always pass through it. Once past the gate, you must face Sudri himself. Okay, let's brew up the... Oh my gosh, looks terrible. You take a drink oh my. of foul potion from the cauldron. You begin to sprout feathers and claws. <laughs> Cock. Can I make a bird sound? Can we even equip a mountain here? I don't think so. Cock, Does that make sense? You hear that midnight? I said hello, how are you? In bird. She must not have got that joke. All right, well, it's taking moons. Open. The dragon gate lets you pass unharmed. Oh my. Now that you have fooled it once, it should trouble you no more. Okay. Very interesting. Where the heck is he? In a hole? He's in the way back here. Can probably equip a mount, but I want to make sure we're fine. He's like protected, isn't he? It's interesting. Alright, let's talk to Sudri. I think he's going to be mean to us. Maybe. How did you make it through my defenses? <laughs> yeah, he's not nice at all. I'm going to quit my boss deck. I don't remember if we have to f defeat him or not. I've heard from my brothers, Austria and Vestri. They say you've gained their golden seals. I respect that. Okay. Normally, my henchman, Cormac Shadowclaw, would deal with you. But I do not know where he has gone to. I don't wish to bring doom upon my fine hall. So let us be diplomatic in our dealings here. Fair enough. If you can do a few simple things for me, I will give you my own golden seal. Let me guess, collect. As a generous gift, of course. I would have you go to a cave in Vesterland, in which grows a special tree. A tree bearing golden apples. The cave is guarded by a Valkyrie, a warrior named Jorda. She may try to stop you. Well, clearly... Find the cave. Bring me back a basket of these golden apples. And we'll see where we stand. Okay, let's leave a mark here. Go back to Northgard. And then we will... Confront the Valkyrie? Amber, yeah, that's what I'm called. Alright, let's get a mount. Uh, where the heck is it at? There we go. Alright, back down to... Jorda's Cave. An interesting name, to say the least. Simple name. So we'll collect the golden apples, get the seal, and then hype for Norgeland already? Surprising. I feel like they put the raven, like the feather quest, just to delay you a bit. And it did take about 15 minutes or so, so I guess. Um, but then you had to defeat all those bosses. And the side quest, if you do decide to do the side quest, which for this world I highly recommend... Um, especially for the XP gain is unmatchable by any world, in my opinion. Especially, I mean, it's not that difficult, um, but for the level being, it's, um, a great reward. Right, where the heck? Way back here. Which is fine, though. Make our way. Let me make sure I have enough enchants in my, uh, deck. Yeah, we're, we're good, we're good to go. Hopefully, pray to Ivan. She's not myth. Oh, it's over here. My bad. I'm trying to remember, is there like a giant tree in here? I think there is. We will find out soon enough. Um, a comment a long while ago, well, semi-long ago, was talking about how Sujulin was... Hold, really these short. golden apples are mine and mine alone. None shall taste their sweetness but me. He didn't really sound that mean. But, let's, uh, well, mm, I think we'll be fine. Alright, we're going to, let's remove this transformation. Not having it. Alright, cool, we're back. <laughs> Hopefully 5,000 health or less. Might even have more. Please go first. Amazing. 5,000, fair enough. Okay, so we are going to remove that. And we're going to start myth trapping. Be the best thing to do here. 
At least he's fire, not ice. If he was ice, he'd be spamming tower shields. Luminous weed spam? JK. Oh my. Is that sanctuary? Has to be. Unreal. Draw. Um, let's, ch well, let's just blade up. We'll change the bubble kind of last minute in case she uses that spell again. Let it get her out of her system. Which I'm a little worried she might, so we're going to hold off. Meteor spam. All right. Doesn't do that much. Oh my. Uh, ooh. Don't need that, don't need that. Well, Spirit Blade. Trap? Leprechaun? Trap. Okay. Now, how much does this guy have? 1,200. It's not a lot at all. Um, we're gonna bubble change. And then we'll Earthquake. Kill the minion and do a fair amount of damage on, uh, what's her name again? Jorda. Could've just called her Jordan. Jordan's a girl name too, right? I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Sometimes I confuse myself about that. Names in general. I forget names easily as well, so... If you have to forgive me if I see you in game and I don't remember your name, it happens. I do remember most people though, I really do. Especially at live streams and whatnot. 600 health? Getting a little bit low. Midnight, help. He's gonna be dead unless I fizzle. Um, let's remove that, remove that. We'll earthquake and then hopefully heal next if it pops, which it should. And he's dead as well. Lucky crit. Praise Ivan, maybe? I don't know. Nope. <laughs> Alright, he's definitely dead. It's gonna do about over 2k. Really good. Hmm. No heal once again. Uh. We'll shield then. We'll shield and then we'll blade. Or heal anyway. Hopefully she just traps or blades. Prefer that. Just waste a round for her. That's what we need her to do. No heal again. Alright, well, we'll blade. So we have blade, aura, orthrus would most likely do around 1500 or so. Bubble change, of course. Well, I'll go to our favor because of sanctuary. Which is good. I'm not complaining about that. Alrighty, there we go. Something weird there. Um, okay, we gotta heal. We're gonna heal. <laughs> We're definitely gonna heal. Just a weird glitch or something. At least we found it. Wu has answered our prayers. A thousand, I love it. Thank you for the bubble, Jorda. Now, what to do next, huh? We don't need a Humongo Frog. We'll Spirit Blade. There we are. She passed. She's going to use a big hit. Keep that up. Keep that. Well, I'll remove that anyway. Um. Interesting. I think we're going to shield. Reduce as much damage as possible. Please use Life Colossus. Seraph, I'll take it. Might even keep the bubble up. Unless we don't unless we find one. Which we don't. We're gonna double myth trap. And she should be dead. Double blade. Double trap. We're in good hands. Oh, just hit that. It's my bad. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna try. Two, four, five, six. Yeah. We should be in good hands. Oh my. Well, since you used all of our pips, we're gonna hit anyway. We're not gonna heal before. 
But if we were too low, I would have. I'm trying to remember, is it like the golden apple the only thing we have to get for Sudri? Or is there something else? I feel like we still have to get... Collect something. Which always is the case. If you give me these things, then... Oh, then you gotta go get that. Kind of similar to the, uh... Quest line for Cyrus way back in the day. Sons ago. Where we had to collect his, like, dry cleaning. <laughs> Ridiculous. Alright, is she dead? Maybe. I hope. Yes, amazing. Gotta so love it. Fair. I have guarded this tree against all. And it earned me nothing but ignoble defeat. It happens, Jorda. It happens. You collect some gold and Back apples. to Sudri. Love leaving those ports. Hopefully we can find some health wisps. Sudri! It is a pity Jorda would not share them. These apples are so delicious they drive lesser beings to madness. Yeah. I would offer you one, <laughs> but then I would have to fight you. To keep you from taking the rest. Funny. I can see in your eyes that you do not trust me. That is fair. Giants are known as tricksters and liars. I will prove to you that my word has weight. I will allow you to track what? my words in an urn and weigh them. There is a scale in Rundel Fjord that the merchants use. By Regin. Take the urn with my words to the scale and weigh it. If I am speaking true, my words will have weight. What? If I am speaking falsely, my words will be as light as hot air. Let us begin. I'm not going to complain. We get 6k XP. And bring it back to me. Then to Hrondelfjord to weigh it. You know what? I'm not going to complain. Like, use urn. All right, let's use the urn. Hey, if he's going to give me 6k for a quest just to magically put his words inside of an urn and weigh it, I'm not going to refute that. Not one bit. Unless we have to collect the urn. No, it should just be over here, right? Yeah, it's just over here. It's in a weird spot. This urn should do. Back, Oh, back to Sudri. You'd be like, oh, this urn better be good. Frost flower, thank you. I had to buy some frost flower to craft... Two or three pieces of the gear that you have to buy. Let alone, I have to, I don't know what the Thaman Ring have to do. Sudri speaks into the urn. <laughs> Upon my honor, I swear to grant the golden seal to this wizard once this task is done. Strangely, it feels a bit heavier, but that isn't possible. Now, go to Hrundelfjord and it. weigh that <laughs> on the merchant's scale. Alright, you know what? I believe you. Like, literally, Sudri... You seem like you're the realest cat out of them all. Like, I'll be honest. Vestry was... No, Austri was a bit strange. He's like, you gotta... You, you gotta earn my respect. Well, like... Grandmother Raven sent me. That should be enough. But no. And then Vestry was like... Yo. You're a fool. And be like, whoa. I'm not. And then... You know, Suju's just like... Go give me some food. You'll be my friend. That's the kind of person I want to hang around. Let's be honest. Now, Nordry, I don't know. I don't remember him. I'm a little bit scared, though. I feel like he's, like, not the grandfather of the brothers, but he's, like, the most the important. The wobbles with the weight of the urn. You adjust the scales to account for the urn's weight. The giant's oath carries real weight. Sudri will want to hear from you. Uh, so he's good. Even though that scale looked like the... Other one had more weight. I can see from your face that you believe me now. Here Sudri, is your you the man. Seal. You demand. Use it to save your world. Sudri gives you the third Amazing. of the golden seals. You're three quarters of the way there. That is some good math. Mother Raven. It's just quicker to go to Northgard, in my opinion, than to go all the way back. All right, we're going. Nordland hype. Already done with Sudrland. It's a great day. And we're halfway to 55. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're more than halfway to 55. It's exciting. How much XP does this give? 6K? Oh, yeah, 6K. So we'll be 34,000 out of 54,000. So 20,000 more. So like three quests or so. 
pending. I just talked to uh, the big G. I have never trusted a giant, but you got the best part of Sudri, his oath given freely and without deceit. I'm impressed as well. Now that you have well. gotten golden seals from Austri, Vestri, and Sudri, only Nordri's golden seal remains. You're a smart one. I know the charm that will open the Nordriland gate. Go to the gate, speak the charm, and go forth to find Nordri. If I remember, his door warden is a disagreeable ice troll named Stengar. He is a clever one and loves riddles. When you have gotten Nordri's golden seal and completed the set, return to me and we will see this to its finish. I will not let you down, Big G. Stengar, word wise. Interesting name. Go down by the guys of water. So, we've completed Sudraland, Australand, Esterland. All side quests as well, uh, from my knowledge. So, we're going into Norgeland. It's a little bit different than the rest of the areas. Very different. And you'll see why. Side quest right off the bat. Really good. Oh, we're two people side quests already. bridge. Do we have to, like, talk to one of these people? Yeah, I think we have to talk to these people to actually get the bridge. Can you help my Valdi crew? You have any? Find some pieces of yeah, scrap okay, wood and use them like... to repair the bridge. So you actually it have to do a to do. side quest to get a part, or get to the actual main quest. Kind of weird. But yeah, you have to get the wood planks. I remember this now. I remember this completely. Uh, We're gonna have to risk it, trisk it for the biscuit. We got it. We got 4K easy XP as well, which is nothing to complain about. Good work, and the bridge is as good of as all the okay. I fear my weight broke the bridge, but now it looks as if it will hold. <laughs> uh, even with a broken wheel. You know what? Something about I don't it judge. Significant. We're going to Stengar. Oh my! A lot of side quests. Okay, literally though, we're gonna get mass levels out of this. And the final dungeon quest line, I believe, gives. Um, for those who did not know, for the thumbnail for Winter Tusk, I took it right here. This is where I took it on my death. It's amazing. And then I put Big G on the right. For those who didn't know, it's where it is. There's a lot of people. With, my gosh. I mean, Nordrun is actually relatively short, but the side quests go on for moons, and I feel like a lot of it's going to be defeat and collect, which I'm not looking forward to, but has to be a done. Frozen ship stuck in the ice. You have a strange feeling it will be important. Yeah. And we're getting into the inner belly of Norgeland here. He's blocking the gate. Talk to this fool, huh? Oh my. Oh, there. Oh my gosh. There he is. The coolest area for one of the brothers, though, I might add. Hold it right there, little one. That's me, Brady. No one gets in to see Nordry without first defeating me in the most noble of contests. A riddle game. I will ask you two riddles. And if you give me the answers, you may pass and speak to Nordry. Fair enough. But I do not want just an Whoa. answer. You must find not the item quite. I speak of. The first riddle is this. I go round in circles, but always straight ahead. Never complain, no matter where I'm led. What am I? A horse. You're sure the answer is oh. a wheel, but where have you seen one of those? That's embarrassing. Like, I'll be real honest, I am embarrassed. <laughs> oh my gosh. A horse. Hey. You can't win them all, team. You cannot win them all. All right, let's go collect this wheel for Stengar, the fool. Well, the wise, anyway. Oh, gosh. You can't win them all. Where the heck? See, it's tricky going around these Winter Skull people. They're going to pull you when you least expect it. See, look at that little bridge. The only thing connecting it. The Horn of Calling. Like the dinner bell or something. Wagon wheel, the wagon wheel. It's not a horse. Oh, gosh. Sometimes I question myself. Moon's away, though. It's a, 
two part quest, which is fine. A wheel is clearly the answer okay. he's looking for. You can go back to Stengar now. We're going back to Stengar. You'd be like, shoot, you got it. <laughs> you thought it was a horse, didn't you? Well, you I found didn't. a wheel on the merchant's <laughs> wagon? Well done. A wheel is correct. Well, there you are. Now, for the second of my riddles. Weight in my belly, a tree on my back. Nails in my ribs, feet do I lack. Uh... Bartleby? That sounds like a ship. Where would you find a ship? I'm terrible at this. See, Big G, the narrator, just helps me. Like, I literally feel like an idiot. Kind of. It's pretty clear that he's talking about this ship. You can go back and solve All right, the I get it. We the ship. So it's not a horse and it's not Bartleby. I am not the master of riddles by any sense. A ship. Oh my. A fair answer and well spoken. You have bested me in the riddle game and may now All proceed. Right, can I talk to Nordry? Nordry awaits you beyond these doors. Enter and show him some respect. About to slap him if he doesn't give me that seal to be honest. Nordry's Hall. Bum bum bum. Greetings, wizard. I suspect you know how this will go down. Uh, do we have to beat him? The cause for your visit is clear to me. You want my golden seal to bind my father into the sleep of ages. Though the icy blood in my veins urges me to send you back to Grandmother Raven in defeat, I will not Whoa. attack you. I offer you a trade, a fair one. Go to the cavern beneath Grandmother Raven's tree. In that cave is the cold drake, Nithog, a loathsome worm that gnaws the root of the great tree above. If you can bring me one of Nithog's teeth, I will gladly trade my golden seal for it. Okay. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, this boss, I feel like, is going to be a struggle. I looked some things up on the wiki because I felt like we were very end game of Winter Tusk. Literally, this quest, the one after, is to go into Nistron. We literally are almost done. The next ep will be the finale of Winter Tusk. I cannot believe we are this uh, close. There is no easy way to get a tooth from this monster. Perhaps the norms can offer some advice. Oh, it's not a boss. Never mind. We've talked to Erd. Kind of awkward. <laughs> well, maybe it's a boss. We'll have to see. I thought it was going to be a boss, so I called for help. You have come seeking a way to wrest a tooth from Nithog, the worm that gnaws at the roots of the world. No force of battle or craft of spell will win you that prize. You must make it bite off more than it can chew. Gather some wild hemlock from Australand. And some ice bark from a winter branch in Vestralunt. Take those things to Regan <laughs> Wildleaf, who will brew oh, so that's a potion the solution. that will give Nithog something to chew on. Okay, fair enough. So we'll go collect the hemlock and the the, uh, the branch from Vestralunt. It was. I'm assuming. Well, let's just go get the hemlock first, since that'll be the most struggle. Um. So yeah, almost got pulled. I didn't realize that uh, we were this close to the end of the world. Like, it flew by. Nordland was literally just that. Uh, I didn't remember that at all. Um, definitely after this uh, episode, I will be doing some side quests. I will be getting Talos. I don't know if there's a quest line for it or not, or maybe just Balor gives it to us right away. I haven't looked into that much, but I know you have to be level 55 to get it. Did I collect it to Ice Bark and Vesterland? Okay, we'll go back out there. Welcome back, everybody. I collected the branch or the bark. I crit for the first time ever, and when I was not recording, it was a shame. A toothache. I'll need some wild hemlock and some ice bark from a winter branch. What's that? You already, you already have, have them, brother. 
I would ask how you knew, but it's obvious that the Norns sent <laughs> They know all, don't they? Mm, let me mix that up for you. <laughs> Regan blends the ingredients into a salve and gives it to you in a small wooden Looks bowl. Looks spiritual. Just smear this on the roots that the worm chews and wait. Do not get any of the salve on yourself. I promise. So we gotta go apply it to the root, the tree, salve. It looked like it was like a goo form or something was going on. Freaky. Big G, do you approve of this? So, legitimately still in shock, I'll be honest. Uh, Winter Tusk was a great world. Sad to see it go, really. But, um, you know, we will be getting Talos today. Confirmed. I looked at how much XP I need. So, yeah, that's literally one of the best. Let's apply the salve where the heck we have you to. You smear a little of the salve on the root and uh, wait for Nifog to chew on it. Okay. In a few moments, the great worm gnaws the root and groans. Something white clatters to the floor. It's a tooth. Oh, no way. It from the ground. Back to Nordry. There we are. We get a level team. Nordry. That was fast. I should have bargained for more, I suspect. Nah. I stand by my word. Here is your golden seal. Take it and trouble me no further. Be warned. This is not the last time our paths will cross. Alrighty. Back to Grandmother Raven. Quicker to take to Northgard. So we will be talking to Grandmother Raven. She'll be like, ooh, you know, like feel something shivering me timbers or something like that. Um, let's go talk to her and then finally level and then go get Talos. I don't know if Talos is a quest line and if it is, it is. If not, um, we'll just get the spell, which I'm pretty sure we just have to defeat a boss or something like that. Um, so let's talk to Big G. Really excited. I really am. Um, so after today, we'll be doing some side quests and whatnot to get to level 56. Do all the Nordjylland side quests. Uh, let's talk to Big G first. The four golden seals are in your hands. And you are ready to enter the door no way. at the base of this very tree. Amazing. The below are called Nastrond, the bones of the earth. A colder and more desolate place there never was. You must take the golden seals into Nastrond and place them before the ice titan, keeping Keep him endless in slumber. endless slumber. The gate to Nastrond now beckons, and all our hopes go with you amazing all our hopes go with you that's insane so hype for Nastrond down below there the gates i will be having friends join me uh hype 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 so let's go back to our home let's buy some potions um you know all that hoopla and then we'll go talk to baldir get our spell shall we we got a lot accomplished today still a lot more to accomplish for winter tusk for me anyway uh, some side quests and whatnot. We need, what, 60,000? Oh, 57,000. Hilda, talk to me. Potions. Thank you very much. I'll have to sell some gear. I know I have to anyway. Quick sell. Let's see what we can quick sell. Yeah, we don't need that. We don't need that. Just those three. Get a little low on gold, but we'll get the gold up. A little 55. It's amazing. Is there anything else that we could equip at 55? That was really good. We can go get a new deck. We'll get that after all of Winter Tusk, though. Uh, Baldir. Old Town. I'm trying to think of where he is, but yeah, he's in the Old Town. He's down there. He's got that little quest line. Plus, not a too hard of boss. Were you pleased with the magic you got from Eric Weirdrune? He has sent word to me that he has another such deal for you. Go and speak with him in Northgard, in Grizzleheim. He may need your help, but I am sure he will make it worth the effort. Okay. Back to the commons. And then we can talk to Eric. Oh, 55. Okay, we're going around here. Back to Grizzleheim, Northgard. He's right by or outside of the King's Gates, I want to say. I'm pretty sure. I think he's the same guy who gives you the tome quest or the, the book quest. We don't want that. <laughs> that one's a no-go for sure. So yeah, tomorrow, Nestrand, Hype, the Zeke quest... Level 56 gear, I'll finally hopefully be able to equip. If we don't get 56 in one level, 
with all the side quests and whatnot. Well, that's just unfortunate. All right, let's talk to him. What do we got? Welcome back. Say, I could use your help. Okay. Uh, I don't know what quest this is. Um, the rune down? It is clear that fate sent you here sure at this time. An evil Grendel named yeah, okay. Scabrock stole my bag of rune spells, and I fear he means to do terrible things with such power. Can you go to his cave this in Sudreland okay. and recover my bag of rune spells? If you do so, I'll gladly share my magic with you. Okay, perfect. Cancel that. Leave a mark here. I am going to go defeat him real quick just, just to save some time. Uh, Shabrock and Sudreland. Um, after I defeat him, we'll be back at Eric. So I'll see you guys then. Welcome back, everybody. We uh, finally defeated him. He was a hard boss, to say the least. We you finally won got back it. my bag of rune spells. I am in your debt. Let me reward you with a spell. He was a rank 10 storm boss with 8k health um, with a minion. It was definitely one of the hardest bosses we've ever had to face, but we, we finally got it. There it is, Talos. Amazing. So, anyway, that'll do it for me today. If you like you've enjoyed learning uh, the end of Winter Tusk is... Right around the corner, let's put in Talos, huh? Move one of those and let's put in four of them, huh? Put in four. Alright, so anyway, I'll see you guys next time. The Strand Hype next episode, along with the Zeke Quest finale of Winter Tusk. Level 56 gear, I'll be doing some side quests. Hopefully I'll level. Um, so I'll see you guys next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.